Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, there's been a change in the file system on the Canary build that apparently is going to make it to Windows 11 at some point. Uh, it's not, you know, something that might make it absolutely, but it's an interesting one. So if you use file systems and format different devices like USB thumb drives with uh, FAT32, for example, or an NTFS, and and often you have to do FAT32 because there are a lot of systems that don't recognize any other file systems. Of course, you're limited to 32 gigabytes. Now, they have increased in the latest update the amount of space that can be um, created with FAT32 to 2 gigabytes, 2 terabytes, sorry, 2 terabytes. So this is a huge, huge um, increase. Uh, here's an example that um, Xeno uh, Panther on X has shown that he actually formatted a drive using FAT32 and quick formatting at 114.6 gigabytes. So it says, warning, the volume exceeds 32. You may encounter compatibility issues and so on. But for the most part, now you can allocate up to two terabytes in FAT32. You don't even have to go to NTFS to increase the amount of si the size of a drive. So uh, this is cool, and um, I don't know how useful it will be for some, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of devices that use FAT32 also have their own read limits. But um, hey, why not? So um, something that I'm, you know, you wouldn't think that would be changed in 2024, but uh, it is. So FAT32 eventually might actually let you um, make partitions up to two terabytes on a uh, drive, which is kind of cool. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.